All right, everybody. The time has come. The time's come. There's nothing else I can say. I'm about to head to Melbourne once again. I've got my man bag. I've got my camera bag. And I've got my suitcase. I better get that, actually. Nick minute. So, definitely feels like a little bit of deja vu. I, uh, I made this exact trip about four weeks ago down in, down in Melbourne. I, I drove from here, Alice Springs, 500 kilometers to Ayers Rock. You know where Ayers Rock is? You know Uluru? That big red rock in the middle of Australia that you think is right by Alice Springs? Well, it's not. It's actually 500 k's away, so that's four hours drive. Once I get there, I will park my car and check in, and hopefully my flight's on time this time. If it is, I'll jump on my flight at 12.50. It's a two hour and 50 minute flight. 4.10? Yes, I arrive at 4.10, Melbourne time. Now, the plan for Melbourne is to meet with my clothing manufacturer, make a few uh, adjustments to the samples, one of them I'm wearing right now. The second thing is to go to my first football training, which is tomorrow night. The third thing is to meet with Pro Kick Australia. Basically, that's just a meeting. I don't know what's going to come of it. I'm not going to try and predict what's going to come of it, but I will be telling you guys what comes of it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to meet up with a couple of friends, have a good time, go and see some sights. Um, I've got a car. You know, I've got a really nice place, nicer than last time to stay in, which is great. And um, yeah, I'm excited. So I thought I'd just make this first vlog entry. And um, I thought I'd do something interesting. We're going to head down this road for 500 k's. Every 100 kilometers, I'm going to get out of the car and give you guys a 360, give you guys a view of what I'm seeing. Because the scenery can be quite, you know, quite, quite cool, but I never know when to stop to show you guys. So I'm going to stop every 100 k's, which is going to be four stops, 100, 200, 300, 400, and then we'll be at Ayers Rock. So without further ado, it is 7.18 in the morning, Tuesday the 18th of September, and we're doing this, man. This trip was a figment of my imagination. I made it up in my head. And lo and behold, I made it happen. It cost money. Money is the fucking, money is the factor that stops anyone from doing anything. Money doesn't make the world go around, but it, God damn, it makes things a lot easier. <sighs> so that's what we're doing. I will say though, I will say, I have been thinking about college football a lot more. And that is because of the fact that I'm actually not happy in my day to day job. You know, whatever happens to this combine, regardless of that, I'm, I'm kind of writing it off, to be honest. I'll go there, I'll, I'll compete, I'll uh, rub a few shoulders, I'll talk to everyone I can, get as much knowledge as I can, and come back to Alice Springs. But the reality is, is that I'm back to my day job, you know? And I don't like it. So, thinking of a career change, I'm thinking, you know, getting a scholarship of some sort to play football in America would be ideal. I mean, it would get me free, a free education. I'd be able to play awesome sport. I'd be able to make awesome vlogs for my YouTube channel. I just have to find out how we're going to get my daughter either with me or get me on a schedule that I'd be able to come back enough to maintain that relationship with her. Because really, you know, regardless of all of this shit, this football stuff, YouTube stuff, business stuff, that is my main priority and it has to be. It has to be, and it hasn't been. But we'll talk about that soon. Anyways, I'm gonna pack my shit up, get in the car, and we're off on the road. I've gotta get a coffee. As always, um, I did have my cardiogram yesterday, my cardio, cardio, cardiology appointment to follow up on my heart problem that I had. I had a, a regular heartbeat. Anyway, it's all good. So I'm confident in my ability this week to perform. I've been in the gym for two weeks, hard, I've got my squat from like 135 pounds right back up to 275 for sets of 10, which I am fucking stoked about. So if they get me under three, like basically all I wanted to do before I went down and, and did any testing or anything, I needed to get my squat up, I needed to start benching again, get that up, and my deadlift. And I've been doing all three, so I'm proud about that. My squat, I thought, fuck, they're going to get me under 315 and I'm going to be like, you know, I hadn't even done it. In months 
And that stems from a, a previous injury, it stems from my gyno surgery not going very well. Anyways, if you've followed my channel for any length of time, I haven't been properly training for, for the best part of the last nine months. I feel weak as piss, but it's coming back. And like I said, 275 on the squat. I, I've done three squat sessions now. We did one, I, I did uh, a maximum of 135 for sets of 10. I went up to 225 the next day, the next time I trained legs for sets of 10. And yesterday I trained legs for the third time and I did sets of 10 with 275. Now that is with a really you know, long extended break to get my stamina back up. But I wanted to hit those numbers and I did. So I'm really happy. I'm confident that if they do put me under 315, I might be able to bang out five reps if I'm fresh. And that is all I could have asked for in these two weeks. So I'm happy. I'll see you on the road. Peace. I know I just talked way too much. <laughs> It was meant to be like a minute clip and it's fucking six and a half minutes. <sighs> That's me all over.